Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to see how to use artifact in GitLab. So you know what is artifact? Artifact just uh, we can store our content, our data, our var file, jar file, or any other details inside the artifact, like archiving the data. And we can reuse this data inside the other stages as well. So let's start. Go inside the GitLab CI.ml. So this is our YAML file in this yaml file we did changes for the a send email notification for the condition while condition so let's do some modification here here we'll add the or artifact so under the build job i will add one keyword here artifacts followed by colon then after that i will give the name here something dollar ci underscore job underscore id inside the double quote then after that i will give the path where i want to store the content of the file so let's give suppose git lab details dot txt and this is the file name in in this file we want to store some details so you know we are using this extend keyword and i will use this artifact all three jobs inside the all three jobs so let's go here and i will create here one touch this file touch gitlab underscore details dot txt so while executing the script first it comes under this extend calling this function here it will create one file here with this name and inside this file will create some data so let's comes under the script let's go echo i will add this is job id using this variable ci job id and pipeline id dollar ci underscore pi pipeline id instead of job id we will write job name job name and pipeline id then i want to store this line inside the in this file gitlab details so let's add to greater symbol and give the file name here let's copy same name and add under the test job as well here i already added let's delete from here okay then after that same artifact will copy from here and add here let's check the syntax let's comes under the deploy job and give the artifact as well here we made a mistake here in previous session so let's sort out echo and here we want just will add this line in this artifact it lab details dot txt so let's click on commit and let's see our data will be right under this artifact or not let's go to the pipeline the pipeline is executed click on the running and let's check that go under the build hyphen job it's executing let's wait for the completion it will take around 30 seconds for the execution okay now execution has been done let's refresh the page and let's see here we can see that echo we are learning gitlab session presenting by devops as well after that touch gitlab underscore detail dot txt has been created one file 
then after that line number 26 we have added this line inside this gitlab underscore details dot txt then after that uploading artifact successfully uploading artifact for successful job it's showing here let's comes on the right side and check keep download and browse if you click on browse you will get artifact in this browser if you want to download then after that one zip file will be download so let's click on it you can see this is the zip file let's click on and this is the file it's been generated click on it and let's see this is a job name and pipeline id so what is our job name build hyphen job and what is our pipeline id 74718 so let's cross check the pipeline id let's go back 74718 this is our pipeline id and what is our job name build hyphen job let's check under the test hyphen job let's click on download or we can say under the browse if score now it's showing this is job name pipeline id 718 718 and this is the id of this both are be, has been stored because we have added two in the first stage it's store one in the second stage it's showing two if you check under the third stage it will store third one as well so what is the third one job deployment has been started let's see go back to the pipeline go to the deploy stage and let's click on download let's see under the GitLab details job deployment has been started so all three content has been added under the artifact so step by step first added for the build job then after that test job and after that deployment job so you will get all three details under the deployment job okay this is the way we can store the artifact using the GitLab as well this artifact it is useful for the rules as you understood so that's the only for today's thank you for watching